take about 15 seconds. Good morning, Judge and Commissioners. On Friday, November 18th, I spoke to this body about my concerns about certifying the November 8th election results, specifically about the courthouse. I spoke about an enemy that is crippling America without America knowing that it is being crippled. I spoke about a fellow UT chemist who won a Texas Supreme Court decision by exposing black box machine generated proportional votes. I quoted President Biden who said, we have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. Just as elected bodies in Smith County have promoted and rewarded acceptance of experimental inoculations that have jeopardized the lives, liberty, and pursuit of happiness of our Smith County citizens, so too are those bodies promoting black box election equipment suspected of crippling our God-given right to free speech at the ballot box. Our dozens upon dozens of precincts are designed specifically for counting ballots by hand in those precincts on election day by the residents that live there in those precincts. Our precincts were not designed to count votes by machine for days and days or weeks and months before and after election day as being done in too much of America. To substantiate my concerns about machine counted ballots, I conducted in-person polls of registered voters on five different days. The results of those polls dramatically are dramatically different from the machine reported count of ballots November the 8th. The ratio of no votes to yes votes of those five polls is 4.2. That means for every yes vote, there were 4.2 no votes. The rate ratio of machine reported votes is 0 0.7, which means that for every yes vote, there were 0.7 no votes. On November 18th, I offered a resolution to this discrepancy. As the constitutionally elected representative of Precinct 3 voters, I offered with the assistance of a city councilman and Republicans and Democrats in my Precinct 3 to count the 1,386 paper ballots that were cast in Precinct 3. This would be done real time, live with a camera, just like here, where anyone in America could observe the hand counting of those paper ballots. Black boxes do not allow this transparency, which is necessary for the security of a free state. I pray you will agree that it is time for transparency that cannot be accomplished with black box voting equipment. The trust of those who elected you depends on it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Moves us.